from the series of previous videos we have already covered the topic of memory we have understood how is ram and rom different what are the differences between sram and dram and how are we able to perform read write and hold operations in a memory now we will be shifting our focus to the next topic and that is programmable logic devices or what we call as pld's so let us move on to the topic what are programmable logic devices they are nothing but an integrated circuit which contains large number of gates as well as flip flops and what we can do with it is we can configure them or we can program them and the kind of programming that is done in these programmable logic devices that is the simplest form of programming in the form of fuses furthermore the fuses are intact if we see originally and while we are doing programming then what we do we can blow the fuse and uh, with that what happens the connection is getting broken so if we have to understand this concept of uh, fusing let us shift to the diagram now the diagram given here are representing fuses only this is the kind of fuse that was used at home nowadays it is obsolete so what the concept was there was a wire from this side and there was a wire from this side now if we see there is no connection until you are not having this part connected uh, over here so the concept in this kind of fuse was there would be a wire here in this form it would be a thin wire and once you are bringing this device in contact with this one so the connection is created from here to here so that time we say the connection is intact means connection is closed then if you are providing a very high voltage due to the high voltage what will happen the wire that we are having here this wire will be blown away and the connection will be lost so it will that time act as open circuit so the voltage that we are applying that voltage would be responsible for breaking the wire the other one is also a fuse that is normally used in the transformer and you can again see here there there is a wire and again this wire will blow away whenever you are uh, having a very high voltage so the programming that we are referring it refers to this 1 and 0 where this 1 is the close uh, switch and this 1 refers to the open switch and how are we able to do an open switch that would be done by giving a voltage and originally what is happening originally your switch will be always closed so this is the concept of the simple programming that we are talking in the pld's and these points are written here it is the simplest form of programming that is using the concept of fuses only and in the original state the all the fuses would be intact and while you are programming then what you can do you can blow the fuse so that is a simple concept of programmable logic devices then the different types of uh, programmable logic devices are spld cpld and fpga so these are the three broad categories of pld's then the spld is divided into four different parts which are rom pla pal and gal so they are nothing but it is an array they are nothing but an array of and gates plus or gates and we can connect them in a certain fashion to create various logical expressions now i will give you the brief introduction regarding the types of spld now see this table as i said if we look at the programmable logic devices it is nothing but an array of and gates plus or gates now this table uh, will be giving you an idea that which of the arrays would be programmable so if we look at the prom you can see here and array would be fixed only you cannot you cannot program it while as or array can be programmed if we look at pla both the arrays are programmable if we look at pal and gal then and array is programmable while as or is not programmable they are fixed so the same thing is given in this diagram as well the prom is having fixed array of and gates and the programmable or and so on for pal and pla now i want you to have a focus on this diagram 
this is a normal way suppose if we are having AND gate and these are the multiple inputs input number 1 2 3 4 and 5 we can also represent the same with a single line as you can see here a single line and wherever there is a connection there we will have this cross this cross will indicate there is a connection and if suppose there is no cross available that would indicate no connection. So, this diagram and the, this diagram is same and similar is for the OR array also the multiple inputs of multiple lines will be represented with only a single particular line and connections would indicate how many inputs are given. Now, how do we program? As you can see here, how are we blowing away the fuse? All the switches are in contact. This is what I said in the introduction. Originally, all the contacts would be present. So, the input is A, B, C and D and the output is A, B, C, D. Now, see once you are programming, you can see here A is now disconnected, D is also disconnected. So, the output is only B dot C. So, Originally, all the connections are intact and once you are uh, doing a programming, you are blowing away some of the connections and accordingly we say this is a kind of programming that we are doing. Now, same thing is shown here also, here all the three connections are present, so the output is A plus B plus C and this is the other representation where one line would be uh, connected here and rest would be shown with the programming Okay, and same is given in the other diagram also can see here C is not present. So, how do you represent this in the alternate way? You see here there is a connection. So, cross means connection. So, they are connected A and B is connected and you can see at C there is no connection, there is no cross given. So, if there, if there is no cross means there is no connection. So, C is not connected here. So, the value is only A plus B. So, in the next video I will be discussing with you read only memory in detail. Till then God bless you all. And